how's it going, y'all? It's your boy Stalin Salosonic, aka Stalin, aka the man that knows what the people want. And in this video, well, I was recording before this, but I kind of lost all that footage because things happen. But I made this whole V and mixed it in that video, and I can't exactly redo all of that again. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through. And I was about to arrange it when, you know, I realized it stopped recording and it messed up the whole file. So I'm just going to take you guys through and exact and show you guys what my thought process was making this beat and how I mixed it, basically. But, yeah. Uh, first thing I did was I put the 808s down. It was this same rhythm, but not this same melody. When I started off, it just I just kind of laid down some 808s to kind of get me in the groove first. And then I put down the kicks. Both the, the 808 and the kicks are from a sound pack that I just made today, actually, or finished today, but uh, it's called the Rumble. 808 and kick pack and I'm just starting to get into sound design so I'm, I'm trying to incorporate my own sounds in my mixes so I can you know basically test run them you feel me and after uh, I selected both of them at, before I did all of this but the next thing I added was the hi-hats then the open hi first open hi-hats second open hi-hats, the snare, and then the counter snare. But it's really just a supporting snare, not really a counter snare. But yeah, so I'm gonna play you guys the, the patterns one by one. So this is the kick pattern. too special and when I started off all I had for the hi-hats were two steps I just kind of put them there sometimes so it keeps the like I can feel the beat building up until I have to actually you know go in there and put the hi-hat chops and all that but this is what the hi-hat hi -hat loop sounds like Nothing too crazy there. It just kind of fits in with the rest of the beat. But I'm going to play it all for you in a second. Uh, the next thing I added were the open hi-hats. I just kind of put one uh, on like the, like the second snare, I think. And then I did one just to kind of support that as well. Nothing too special, and then I put a uh, the main snare. Uh, and then I put the counter snare. Thing, I might just add something right here. All right, but that's basically how I started off the, the whole beat. Then I, you know, I put my MIDI control up and uh, I played a melody. Nothing, it's not even that much, but. The fact that it's a full range of frequencies actually makes it sound a lot more better. That's what I, I try to do whenever I play the piano for my beats, is I try to fill up the, the frequency range 
if I'm not using that many instruments. And on this beat, I really only use the piano and the guitar. And the uh, guitars are a sample from, or there's actually two samples from Cymatics, which I chopped up and arranged. So uh, check out the piano first, though. Sounds kind of rod wavy, something like that. But it doesn't have any melody in there, it's just chords. And then I put the guitar with that. what it sounds like and this is what everything sounds like together <laughs> guitar is just kind of giving some accents it's not actually playing a melody the guitars i chopped up for it weren't on the, the this same key but i just kind of spliced them together to kind of give it you know just some background you know ear candy and i'm i might still i'm a, i will still turn this down in the in the mix <laughs> think I'm gonna really add anything else because I, I really on this beat I really want to leave a lot of space for the artists and I believe I, I'm, I'm gonna put this beat out for free on YouTube free for profit just cuz you know I like supporting the artist community as well and I get support from other people too as well you feel me so that's that uh, for the for the arrangement for the mixing. Uh, I just kind of kept it simple with my chains. I use a channel strip plugin for the 808. I just compressed my kick and limited it. The hi hats I EQ'd out the the low end, compressed it, and limited it. Uh, for the open hi hats, uh, I put. A EQ, a compressor, a limiter, and some reverb afterwards, just to give it a little bit more dynamics. And uh, this is also another open uh, hi hat, and uh, I pretty much did the same thing, similar. I just used a different compressor to give it because every plugin has its own sound so I use a different plugin to just so it doesn't how do I say it? sound too similar although they are two different sounds but uh, the sound signature could be kind of uh, different you feel me uh, the first snare all I did was EQ it limited the second snare I EQ'd subtractive EQ well shape EQ and I kind of took out some right at 30,000 Hertz or 3,000 Hertz uh, to kind of leave space for the other snare and then I compressed it with the scarlet um, red compressor and limited it for the piano, all I did was compress an EQ as well. I didn't really add any effects to it because uh, I used um, 
excellent audios, addictive keys, and they have some great sampled sounds that just, they sound amazing, you feel me? And then for the guitar chain, this is a preset I actually made. Although it, this compressor isn't what I used on the preset, but it's still the same chain right here. All I do is just uh, compress the guitar, uh, shape out the lows and kind of give it more presence in the mid. And uh, I put a flanger on there, some reverb from uh, Cymatics, this is Cymatics plugin, Space Light. And then I put on some, some Valhalla Supermassive for the delay effect. And yeah. That's basically it. I bounced, I bounced this out though, because there were two different samples and I grouped them together and just put them on the MT mixer channel. And I'm just using this to control the volume. Um, but besides that, um, that's all I did for, I didn't really do anything else for the mixing. But right now I'm just gonna lay this out and I'm gonna change up some patterns maybe, and uh, we'll see. I'm just gonna copy this chord progression and add an instrument, an orchestral instrument. I'm gonna add uh, the cellos. <laughs> I'm trying to give the intro uh, not exactly psychedelic but a calm feel you feel me because I don't really know how to make psychedelic music <laughs> but yeah uh, for this I'm just gonna turn this as a box first for uh, set my de decay my sustain and my release so this is what I have <laughs> Not bad. So I'm gonna just put this on the empty channel and bring this on here. Now it's ready to be heard. <laughs> sharing the same frequencies with the, the piano at that point. Doesn't sound exactly like what I was expecting though. I need something softer. closer to what I want. trying to get these settings right you know I'm gonna just put this on auto reset this reset this let it pay for me I don't like how it's just cutting out in the higher one so which is why I wanted to use stretch but Let's see what slide stretch does.
think that sounds better, but uh, let me put some effects on here to hopefully clean it up. Yeah, that's the big engine I hear outside. Uh, Saved though. I hope I saved my progress, but yeah, my computer just crashed on me. Um, I'm gonna reopen it and go off of where I was last. This is where I was last. Um, so I'm just gonna. Go back in. Do this. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of changing up the patterns a little bit to make this go a little faster because I was going to do them anyway, but those strings, I can, I can easily put those back in.
Okay, maybe it's because I was kind of cutting it off on the last one. It was kind of giving me that choppy sample sound like kind of vibe. I did was kind of EQ it a little bit and now I'm gonna compress it just a little bit I'm gonna leave the release on auto cuz I'm not really fond of string releases I usually just leave a really long release but I feel like this plugin is gonna make it sound a little bit better Should I chop it? Let me see how it sounds. I actually like the chop sound better. Just arranging it right now.
that. I gotta automate this, cause I don't, I don't like how it's just sounding. You feel me? And I don't have a mixing board or anything, so I'm just gonna automate this manually. So I'm gonna copy the value, paste the value, and this is that. 16% and that's the volume so I'm gonna turn it down to 11% and see what it sounds like So that's a simple, simple layout for this. And I really, I'm really fucking with that. So this automation, I'm just gonna repeat it like that. So I don't have to redo it. like that we have a beat and that'll be it for this video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking with me I don't exactly know how long this video is right now but I'm going to see you guys next time. Peace. It's been Stallion. Salasala Sonny. The man who knows what the people want.